Welcome back everyone. Today we are covering an exciting new play to earn game from a world class game developer that you know and love and that we love. Absolutely. We will be going over the ecosystem. We'll show you some places to get in touch with the community and behind the project. And of course, we'll be looking at some ways for you to make some profit along the way. It's going to be an exciting one. So if you're ready, then let's get going to battle for those meta millions. Spider Tanks is a PvP brawler designed and developed by award-winning game developer Game Media with a little help from our friends at Gala Games. Players get to choose from an assortment of tank bodies and weapons in the garage and then battle it out 3-3 three to three in the arena. The current beta is free to play and works with PC and Mac operating systems. There's already a few different game units to test your unique skills. We actually got to play Spider Tanks beta for the first time in Miami, which then led us to Galaverse. It was a lot of fun. Now, Spider Tanks has been playable in different betas for the last couple months for anyone that had purchased a body and weapon NFT. Last month, they made the game playable to players without an NFT, and this month, they hope to have their play-to-earn mechanics deployed as well, which is huge. Mm -hmm. This will make Spider Tanks the second play-to-earn game on the Gala Games Network. Next to Townstar, right? Yes. All right. The play-to-earn mechanics will revolve around skill-based competitions, resource collection, and a player-driven upgrade cycle that allows players to earn real rewards. There are also several different arenas playable in the beta, and you can actually own these arenas just like the Spider Tanks bodies and weapons. You will be able to upgrade your arenas and earn when battles are played there. They also have plans to sell entire planet NFTs, offering even larger rewards and more possibilities to upgrade and earn. The game itself is well developed already and easy to get the hang of. They have different controller options available so you can play with a keyboard and a mouse or hook up an Xbox or PS5 controller, making it easy for anyone to jump in. Now, you'll need to create a Gala account to play the game and it's free to sign up on their website. Once you have done that, you can download the launcher for the game itself and install that onto your computer. All released NFTs are available in the Gala Game Store. Some sets have sold out, but there is a verified collection on OpenSea to look at as well. Some of the NFTs on the secondary market were cheaper than in the store, so definitely check them out. You don't have to buy from the site. You just always go where the best prices are. And just be sure the collection is the right one. There are a lot of fakes on OpenSea for this project already. Always look for that blue check mark. Another thing to consider is with Spider Tanks Play to Earn being launched soon, these deals might not last forever. There's another new addition coming to Gala that hasn't been talked about too much yet. This part is essential to the success of the unique play to earn mechanic Spider Tanks hopes to offer. Gala has been working on their own blockchain dubbed Project GYRI, pronounced Gary, by the community. This is a purpose-built blockchain to provide the best gaming experience possible. The best way to do that is to take out the crazy fees that we often see on Ethereum-based projects. Gala launched with Gary Chain this week with a mobile game called Town Crush, similar to Candy Crush. If all goes well with that playtest, the next addition to Gala's new blockchain could be Spider Tanks. This will hopefully make it possible for players to make transactions with little to no fees and also experience gameplay that's consistent and seamless. We will definitely keep an eye on the success of Gal's new blockchain. It sounds like it could be a real game changer yeah. for keeping play to earn from becoming a turn. That's right. And hey guys, if you like what you're seeing here, take a second, hit that notification bell, click the subscribe button, and we're gonna give you all those metaverse plays so you don't wanna miss them. Yes. Also, leave us a comment, let us know how you think we're doing, and what you want to see covered on some future episodes of Meta Money. All right, let's talk about the community. That's very important. Let's we love it. the community. We've covered Gala before, and if you didn't know already, they have an amazing community. I mean, it's, it's huge, and people are active all the time. Mm -hmm. It's definitely a place you can feel confident finding good information about all of the projects, and Spider Tanks is not an exception. Uh, absolutely. Now, they've got a dedicated channel with weekly updates from the game's developers themselves. The community members and moderators are very quick to respond with any questions that you got. The Discord's got over 150,000 members and also offers several different languages as well. They don't have an official links thread, but you can check out the Getting Started section. You can find some links there. Spider Tanks doesn't have its own Twitter yet, but you can check out the game media team behind the game on their Twitter page. The Discord has the most information though for sure, and it seems to be the first place you'll find any leaks or any new updates about the game. Gosh, we love leaks. Yeah. Love getting that inside scoop. All right, well, the Gala Discord is also a great place to find up to the minute details on game problems or bugs. 
There are also many guilds associated with Gala that offer weekly Spider Tanks tournaments with payouts in Gala or Town. Now, many of these are free to enter for guild members, so you might want to find yourself a guild to take your earning potential even farther. All right, and if you're not a Gala Discord member, you should head over there and check it out. Also, we're going to go ahead and drop our link in below, just a referral. We really get nothing from it besides knowing how many people from our uh, community gets involved with us in Gala. Yes. All right, let's talk profitability. Let's that? do it. All right, now, the token that will eventually be a reward in Spider Tanks was thought to be Spider Coin, but nothing has been officially launched yet. Gala has stated that the game will have its own token, though. Whatever they decide to call it, the token will not have an ICO, and it will be distributed in-game. Similar to other tokens on the Gala platform, you will have the opportunity to earn tokens in-game and they will eventually end up on the exchange if the community provides enough liquidity. Without a token of its own, you currently can only buy Spider Tanks NFTs with Gala Coin, Ethereum, or Basic Attention Token in the Gala store. Basic attention token? I still have a bag of that. You got a moon bag. Oh my goodness, I gotta get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> OpenSea offers even more options if you're purchasing there. They recently released some tanks as part of their partnership with Snoop Dogg. These are actually really cool and they come with a weapon and a body. The body looks like a low rider Cadillac and the weapon is a tower of speakers that blast sound waves at your enemies. Oh, cover your ears. <laughs> uh, Snoop Dogg also made music for Spider Tanks. That was a possible drop in a stash box that Gala sold last month in the store. This track will play in game and will be pairable with a Gala music node to earn rewards when that project is launched. They're really coming up with multiple ways to earn and Spider Tanks looks to be their first game that will also incorporate music NFTs with Gala's listen to earn model. Wow. Nice, we have a few of those, excited to actually use them. All right, you may be aware that the Gala Games Network runs on player-owned nodes. While these nodes have risen in price and might be a bit out of reach now, Gala does plan to offer game-specific nodes. These will only support a specific game and will be added as the game expands and requires more network power to run and perform transactions. They've talked about Spider Tanks nodes being a possibility, so keep a lookout for that. Gala is a top 100 crypto, and as you may know, we are bullish on the project and own a Founders Note, and like I said a second ago, three music notes. Holding Gala may end up being a better strategy than buying the game NFTs if you are focused on returns. You can buy on most major exchanges now, and in the past year, the token has proven to beat out other NFTs in percentage of gains, in most cases, with Gala. In the long term, there may be profits found in Spider Tanks as well, but that will depend on the game's overall success. Also, a little bit of alpha. There is a halvening coming in July for the Founders Node, so about mm. half of the selling pressure is going to go away from people that could be receiving that and selling it. Might be something to look for, possible pump. All right. Before we go today, I just wanted to point out that they have an option to create a party in-game. So you can grab a couple of friends and go play some Spider Tanks and let us know below in the comments how you like it. Maybe we can get a Meta Money tournament going. Let us know what you guys think about that. Yeah, that sounds fun to me. All right, well, that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully there was something useful in there for you. And if you're looking at any other platforms or small metaverse plays, drop a comment below and head over to our Discord, hang out, chat, Let's have some fun. Yeah, and we do have a gala channel or thread or server. We whatever. do, uh, yeah. Still learning Discord. Anyway, thanks for spending some time with us today. And as always, please remember, these are just our opinions. It's not financial advice, so always do your own research. And we'll see you next time for some more Meta Money.